Hi, I'm Emma Balfstead, and this is a painting I did of the Smith Farm. I chose this photo because I really loved the lighting, and how it made the reds and the greens stand out so much against each other so boldly. Halfway through this painting, I was able to travel to the farm and see it for myself. It was really interesting to be there while I was in the middle of painting. I knew this photo was from somewhere on the farm, but it took going there to find out where. The scene I painted is right after you exit the sacred grove. I wanted to take a photo from the exact same angle. In this photo, you can barely see any of the structures or buildings, and the tree that was so colorful and beautiful in the painting is just a nice shade of green. I was surprised to see how much the land had changed since the other photo was taken. In my photo, there is a lot more greenery, and you can barely see any of the structures. The building on the very right is the building where they would thresh their wheat. The building in the middle in the background is the building that Alvin began building before he died. The small structure in the middle of the fenced area is where they would keep bees. They would keep the bees in logs or trunks. This was very important, especially during the winter. The building on the far left is a shed where they would keep lots of tools for any time of year. It also happens to be one of the places that Joseph Smith hid the plates while mobs were looking for them. When I started the painting, I thought the beekeeping place was a well. I painted the wooden logs together as if they were one object. But after visiting, I learned that they were not in fact the same object. I probably should have changed it, but I really liked how it looked. One of the things I thought was interesting when I learned about Joseph and Lucy Max Smith was that Lucy painted a lot. Lucy would paint on rugs to help provide for her family. In several of the houses that she had lived in, there were rugs that she had designed or painted. I think it is very interesting that my fifth great-grandmother enjoyed painting as well as I do. One of the values that stood out to me the most about the Smith family was their work ethic. Everyone in their family had to work to support each other. There were a lot of jobs around the home, including helping with the crops, picking apples, and even tapping trees to make maple syrup. I was amazed that the children in the family sometimes got jobs to help support their family. When I earn money, I am able to spend it on whatever I'd like, so that'd be a very hard sacrifice to make. It's hard to imagine coming home and giving all my hard-earned money to my family. Learning about the Smith family has made me appreciate the sacrifices that they made and made me very proud to be a part of their family.